Hello, welcome to Amazon Open Search YouTube channel. My name is Aniri Modi and I'm a solutions architect in the public sector team at Amazon Web Services. In today's video, we'll deep dive into multi-tenancy feature within Amazon Open Search dashboards. So let's deep dive into the multi-tenancy feature. Amazon Open Search Service, it makes it easy for you to perform interactive log analytics, real-time application monitoring, website search, and more. Now within the Amazon Open Search Service, you have an open source visualization tool, which is called Amazon Open Search Dashboards. You can find a link to Open Search Dashboards on your domain dashboard in the Service Console. Now, within the Amazon Open Search dashboards, you have a feature called tenants. So tenants are basically spaces for saving your index patterns, visualization, dashboards, and dashboard objects. Users can switch between multiple tenants to access and share the index patterns and the visualizations. And you can control which roles have access to a tenant and whether those roles have read or write access. Now, by default, all open search dashboard users have access to two independent tenants, the global tenant and a private tenant. Multi-tenancy also provides the option to create custom tenants. The global tenant is shared between every open search dashboard user. It does allow for sharing objects among users who have access to it. The private tenant is exclusive to each user and cannot be shared. It does allow you to access routes or index patterns created by the user's global tenant. And the custom tenants are created by administrators and they can assign them to specific roles. Once created, these tenants can then provide spaces for specific group of users. Now by default for each new domain, multi-tenancy and private tenant would be enabled and the default tenant will be the global tenant. You can change this configuration after domain creation with admins or with users who have access to the right fine grain access control or the IM roles. In today's video, we'll walk over the following scenario. Leadership team of a global airline company would like to see a summary dashboard of the global flights, which includes multiple interactive visuals such as flight delays, flight count, average ticket price, connection, and other metrics. Analysts would be responsible for exploring the data, creating visualization, and summarizing the dashboards. Open Search Administrator is responsible for maintaining the Open Search cluster and fine grain permissions for the users. So we'll be focusing on two user. First is the analyst user and second is the executive user. The admin creates one tenant, which is called the flight data and creates two users and names them analyst user and executive user. We'll give them the appropriate permissions. Now, the analyst user logs into the private tenant to explore the data. After the analyst has explored the data and tried to understand the data, the analyst would be creating the detailed visualizations and dashboards in the flight data tenant. Then the executive user would be logging in into the flight data tenant to check out the summary dashboard created by the analyst. So with this flow, you'll get more understanding and grasp of the multi-tenancy feature and how you can use multiple users and create your own summarizations and dashboards. So now let's get started with a demo and navigate to the multi-tenancy feature within the Amazon Open Search service. So let's get started with the demo. I've logged in into my AWS management console and I will navigate to Amazon Open Search Service. And as a prerequisite, I've already created an Amazon Open Search cluster with fine grained access control enabled with an internal master user. To create an Amazon Open Search cluster, please follow the documentation linked in the description. After you have created a cluster, navigate to the dashboard URL. So I log in into my dashboard here. So once log in, you will notice that the tenant currently is the global tenant. 
So let's go ahead and create our own custom tenant. So under the hamburger icon, under management and under security, click on tenants. So as you can see, right now we have two tenants, the global tenant and the private tenant. So let's go ahead and explore some of the settings here. So if you go to configure, you can see that multi-tenancy is enabled by default. There are two tenants, the global tenant and the private tenant. And then you also have the setting to select what kind of tenant you want to add as your own default tenant. So we'll go ahead and click on manage and create our own custom tenant for our analyst and executive users. So click on create tenant and name it flight data. We'll give the description as this tenant is for analyst and executives. Click on create. So we have created our own custom tenant. If you want, you can also select this and click on action and set it as your default tenant. For now, we will let the settings be as it is. So once we have created the custom tenant, let's go ahead and create the internal users and name them analysts and executors. So click on internal user and the first username would be analyst user. So give it a username and a password. Click on create. And follow the similar method for the executive user. So click on internal user, give it a username, executive user, and a password. So now that we have created the internal users, we'll give them permissions. So under security, under roles, we will attach roles to each user. For the analyst user, we will duplicate the all access role and name it all access analyst. So click on the all access roles, go to actions under duplicate and name this role as all access analyst. For cluster permissions, give it unlimited. For index, replace the wildcard index with the open search underscore wildcard index. For index permissions, give it unlimited. And for tenant, use the flight data tenant and give it the read and write permissions. And click on create. Click on mapped user and map the analyst user to this role. For this demo, we are attaching highly permissive actions to the analyst user. However, in production use, you can restrict the actions on cluster index as well as on the document level. So now that we have created the all access analyst role, we'll be creating another role, which is the open search dashboard user. So search for open search and you'll find the open search dashboard user. So select that, go to actions, click on duplicate, and we will name this role as open search dashboard user executive for cluster permission leave it as it is under index give it the same index which is the open search underscore wildcard for tenant select the flight data tenant and select read only click on create now we will add the executive user to this role so as you can see that we have mapped the user. So to summarize, we have created two users, analyst users with permission to create indexes, visuals, and dashboard, and executive user with permission to read dashboard. So now we will ingest the data using the sample data. So click on the home button here and switch the tenant to the flight data tenant. So I'll just show the steps again. So you will have to go ahead and click on choose from custom and select the flight data tenant and click on confirm. So now we will add the flight data into the flight data tenant. So click on add sample data and you will see the sample flight data here. So click on add data. So this sample data already has some data visualization and dashboards for monitoring the flight route. So let me just quickly show you the dashboard. 
So this is how the dashboard looks. You can see the number of total flights, average ticket price, the flight carrier, the delays and other matrix. So what we will do is that we will log in as an analyst user, explore the data, create visualization, and then we will log in as the executive user to view the dashboard and run any queries which we want. So let's log out from your admin user. And I'll be logging in as the analyst user here. And once you log in, make sure that you are in the flight data tenant. So I'll go ahead and click on visualize here. So let's go ahead and create a visualization. So in a dashboard, we already have the visualization for the destination weather. And we'll go ahead and create one for the origin weather. So click on create visualization and select the pie chart option. For the data source, select the flight log. Under matrix, name the custom label as origin weather. Under bucket, select split slices. For aggregation, select terms. For field, select origin weather. And name the order size as 10. And just we'll click on update here. So we are getting uh, the options here for the origin weather. So just go ahead and save this visualization and we will name it origin weather. Now we will add this visualization in our dashboard. So go to the global flights dashboard, click on edit, click on the option add and add our newly created visualization, which is origin weather. So you can see that at the bottom here and let's go ahead and save this dashboard. So you can either save it as a new dashboard or keep it in the existing one. So I'll just keep it in the existing one and click on save here. So if you just pivot back to private tenant, you won't be able to see this dashboard. So just an example of how the multi-tenancy would work. So now let's just log in into our executive user and see how our dashboards look like. So I'll click on log out here and log in back as an executive user. For tenant, I will switch to custom tenant and select the flight data here and go to the global flights dashboard. So now we are looking at the dashboard as an executive user and we can look how the matrix looks like. And at the bottom, we can see our newly created visualization as well. So let's go ahead and add some controls here. So for origin city, I'm selecting Abu Dhabi and for destination city, I'm selecting Washington and I'll click on apply changes. So I can see the matrix here, like what is the total number of flight, what are the average ticket prices, flight delays, cancellation, and at the bottom, we can look at the origin weather as well. So basically, this is how the whole setup would work. As an executive user, you would have the read permissions. Now, if you just go to dev tools and try to create an index, you would get an error here. So let's go ahead and create an index here. So let's create an index, which is put index one and let's see. So as you can see, we are getting a permission error as we do not have the permissions to create any index in this particular tenant. So this is how you can work in a multi-tenancy environment. Each user would have their private tenant to use. However, their actions would be defined on the permissions given by the admin. And you can create custom tenants for specific users and their workloads. You can disable or enable private tenant, or you can also allocate a deep default tenant. Now for a deeper dive into multi-tenancy with an Amazon open search, please make sure you're checking out documentation, which is linked in the video description. That's all for the video. I hope this helped in understanding how the multi-tenancy feature works within the open search dashboards. Thank you for your time and have a great day.